We've just been in the Dream City. Yeah, Dream City in Roskilde. It's like one of the camping areas. Uh, the idea of it is uh, everyone, everyone, everyone that goes and camps in Dream City has a project, right? And this project can be anything. It doesn't have to have a kind of outcome. It doesn't. It doesn't have to have an aim. It just has to be something cool. And uh, yeah, we've basically been having a walk around, watching everyone, everyone's kind of DIY projects. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The the ethics behind it is it's meant to be uh, you're meant to create projects that are um, they're, they're green sort of sustainable projects that they that you can put up for the week that you're here and then take down and bring all, bring bring back with you. And some of the projects that we've seen are. Amazing, yes, so amazing. Cool. Like, just you wouldn't expect someone to be able to get the amount of things that they've got yeah. there. Like, they're, they're like 15 foot towers and things like that. Yeah, and there's a massive dome thing. Yeah. Uh, cool. Well, I think one of one of my favourite things about it is if you look, if you go to Dream City and you look at, at one of the hills. Then you can see it in the in the kind of Hollywood fashion. Yeah, there's a Hollywood Dream sign. City, that yeah. was really cool. There are people growing food, uh, just all sorts of things. Yeah. It's a really fantastic idea, and I think it really fits the Roskilde culture, and it benefits a lot. Like that, the, yeah. the, the festival at benefits least a lot. Ten from it. people who've, who've decided to make their own DJ stage. Yeah, yeah. And you actually get people kind of gathering around them, mm. having a listen. Yeah. I think it contributes a lot to the atmosphere among the camp that people f feel like they can do whatever they want there. It's not just like, oh, we're going there to, to camp. We, yeah. We're going there to build something and to create something. Yeah. You know? It's created this kind of vibrant atmosphere. Yeah. Like, it's basically a street party. People would, you walk around, people are just, you know, drinking, having a good time, singing, dancing with each other. Some people playing bowls with uh, beer cans. Uh, mm pretty creative. Yeah, well, a little. Um, there's also, um, there's a healthy amount of competition, I think, because awards yeah. do go to the best camps, yeah. Yeah, and I think it's a big contributing factor. A lot of, uh, a lot of people we've talked to have said that they, uh, that, that they, the one, especially the ones that have been a few times, their, their camp has a specific thing. It does, yeah. like, uh, yesterday we talked to uh, the ping pong camp, oh, and yeah. that, they're actually, Right now, I think going for a world record of most people playing ping pong on a single table, yeah. something like 430 people they need, <laughs> and uh, it, it it does. Um, Dream City sort of oozes this yeah. this um, atmosphere of everyone's doing their own little thing. You've got little projects going yeah. on. It's kind of like a kid. It's like a science fair. In a it way. is a little you know, yeah. a science fair. Apart from all of the projects are cool. Yeah. <laughs> None of <laughs> None of them have to, like, there's no restrictions really, so, yeah, you know, it's just whatever. And, um, yeah, and you can just walk around chatting and finding out about people's projects and stuff. Mm. Yeah.